Looks like the open source community has been crushing it this month with a new state of the art model dropping with the introduction of GLM 4.5 and GLM 4.5 Air. Two powerful new large language models from the GLM family built to unify reasoning, coding, and agentic capabilities into one system. GLM 4.5 comes in at a 355 billion total parameters with 32 billion active, while GLM 4.5 Air features 106 billion total and 12 billion active parameters, both supporting a massive 128k context length. Now, these are a mixture of experts models trained on a whopping 22 trillion tokens, optimized for performance across diverse tasks. But what's really wild is how GLM 4.5 competes with the best in the game in terms of its evaluation across 12 benchmarks covering agentic tasks, reasoning, and coding. It ranked third overall, while GLM 4.5 Air came in sixth, going head to head with models from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, XAI, Alibaba, Moonshot, which is the new uh, Kimi K2 model provider, and DeepSeek. Both models feature a hybrid thinking mode, and it allows them to switch between deep reasoning and tool use versus fast non-thinking responses, similar to how Alibaba did with their Quen 3 series. Now, depending on the task, it can switch between these two different modes. Now, in reasoning tasks like math, GPQA, and many others, the GLM 4.5 consistently outperformed or rivals Claude, GPT 4.1, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, in terms of API pricing, it looks like these two models are exceptionally cheap, with the GLM 4.5 costing $0.60 cents per 1 million input tokens and $2.20 per 1 million output. For the GLM 4.5 Air, it's priced at $0.20 cents for 1 million input tokens and $1.10 for 1 million output tokens. Now, if you're looking to get started with this model, you can definitely try it out by accessing it via their API platform, which is something I'll leave a link to in the description below. Uh, you can also use it through another provider like Open Router, which provides the GLM 4.5 API. You can even start chatting with it within the ZAI chatbot. This is where you can start generating with their very own chatbot that hosts these two new models. Their open weights are also available, which is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below, which means that a different quantized version will be released through Olama or LM Studio so that you can start chatting with it locally with a smaller parameter size. If you ever felt like AI tools just aren't getting you, that's exactly why today I'm excited to showcase this free guide by HubSpot. It's called AI Prompt Engineering Quick Start Guide. Co-created with data scientist Tina Hyung, this guide shows you how to go from basic to brilliant when talking to AI. You'll get a three-step framework for better prompts, expert strategies to improve results, and quick fixes when things go wrong. From vague requests to crystal clear instructions, you'll learn how to engineer prompts that actually deliver. Tina is known for turning complex AI topics into easy wins, and this guide is packed with her best tips. Don't settle for generic AI answers. Download the guide now and start getting better results. Thanks to HubSpot, for sponsoring today's video, where you can get smarter content, better tools, bigger impact. Use the link in the description below and get your free copy today. But with that thought, let's dive right back into today's upload. But overall, this is a pretty impressive model in all fronts, whether that's agentic use cases where it's able to match Cloud for Sonnet, or where it's able to do quite well in other areas from reasoning to coding, which is why this is something that I really recommend that you try out today. For example, in terms of its coding capabilities, it was able to create this Flappy Birds game in one shot where it's a functional game that looks pretty accurate to the original Flappy Bird game. And you can see that it did a pretty decent job in generating the UI and the functionality of this game. Overall, its coding capabilities as well as its agenda capabilities is pretty cool because you can see all of these examples are pretty nice, like a simple to-do board that I was able to create as well as uh, timeline that it was able to create with code and you can see there's a lot of things that it's able to generate from powerpoints to basic front ends it also does pretty well with front end development you can see that this is a pokemon uh, catalog that it was able to actually create in one shot with animations and this is the actual capability that you get with this model and in my opinion it is better than the kimi k2 which is something that we just saw quite recently but now what we're going to be doing is testing out this model to see how well it is in different 
benchmarks. We're going to be first testing it out with SVG code. This is where we're asking it to create a butterfly in SVG code. And it's essentially assessing its code ge generation ability, its geometry plus spatial reasoning. And we're trying to see how well it is with its creative and aesthetic sense in terms of generating this butterfly. So let's see what it actually ends up generating. And look at that. This is the SVG code we got from this GLM 4.5. It did a great job in generating this butterfly. And it actually does quite well. And it's actually just crazy to see that we're starting to see these open source models generate such great butterflies. And this is something that you might have noticed at the start of the channel where we would test these new open source models and they would fail drastically at generating SVG code that represents a butterfly. But now we're at a point where open source models can regularly generate these butterflies. This was actually one of the hardest prompts to test a model upon. And now we're seeing these models do a great job with it. Next up, we're using the full stack feature, a part of ZAI. And this is where we're asking it to create an AI SaaS landing page for an AI resume app. And essentially, we're trying to see how well it is in terms of its front end capabilities, how well it is in terms of working with different tech stacks. So let's see what it actually ends up generating. In this case, it's using the actual terminal to help us with the creation of this powered by the GLM 4.5. And there we go. We have our AI SaaS landing page. And in this case, it actually did a really great job with this beautiful front end. It was able to add basic animations, basic styles, but you can see how great and nice it looks in terms of its aesthetic. And this is something that I followed through with my prompt, which was to create an AI resume app landing page. It was able to work with different technical stacks like next.js, chatcn, which is really cool that I was able to use this and it was able to output a really good looking front end. Next up, we're asking a hard reasoning prompt where I'm saying that you're a detective for suspects, Alice, Bob, Charlie, and Dana were in a room when a valuable painting was stolen. Alice said that I didn't take the painting, Dana did, Bob says, I didn't take the painting. Alice is lying. Charlie says, I didn't take the painting. Bob did. Dana says, I didn't take the painting. Charlie is lying. Now, I'm not even implying to find who the actual suspect is. It's going to work on working on different logics and contradictions to evaluate who the actual liar is and who the actual victim or whoever actually stole the painting. In this case, it is going to work with understanding of exclusive conditions. Once it finds out one person is actually telling the truth or not, it's going to track the nested truth values. And this is a pretty hard prompt for most models to actually solve. In this case, we're trying to see who the correct person is and we're trying to see if it is able to explain its reasoning. And there we go. We have gotten the correct answer where it was able to tell us that Bob is the thief and that Dana lies about Charlie lying since Charlie is truthful and Charlie is actually truthful. But if I am to show you the thought process, it is actually insane because it just goes on and on to find the right logical deduction and gets to the correct point where it finds out that Charlie is the truth teller and it finds out that Bob stole the painting. And there we go. This was where it did a great job with its reasoning capabilities to provide us the correct answer. The GLM chatbot also has a couple of other tools like web search, slides maker, workspace, and image search. So if I want to ask or use the web search capability, I can do something like what was the most recent NVIDIA closing price and I can send in this prompt and get an answer pretty quickly using its web searching tool use. So right away it is using thinking and right and it's soon it's going to use the web searching capability to get me the correct answer. And there we go. We have the correct price listed over here which is $176.75 as of 4 p.m. today. Next up, I want to use its AI slide capability. And this is where I'm telling it to create a slide on the world of AI YouTube channel. So let's see what it actually ends up generating for this. And just like that, using its three different tools, it was able to create this world of AI slide deck. And you can see that it was able to get the accurate subscriber count, which is 100% true, as well as the video count. And it is talking about what my channel is. And you can see that it did a great job with this. It generated the HTML code for it. You can actually edit certain components live in action using their chatbot, which is nice. And you can see the content categories, which is AI tools, coding assistance, AI news, open source, no code, AI, 
agents. And then there's a shorts content list, curated playlist that I have all my popular videos that I did a great job in scraping, which is cool. The recent trending topics. And you can see that the community engagement as well as related channels have been listed in my other two channels. So overall, I did a great job in generating this slide deck and I love how it did a great job with this. So this is actually pretty cool to see. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But overall, this is a really impressive open source state of the art model that is surpassing many of the other open source models being the king at the current moment. They're latest frontier model that excels in reasoning, coding, and agentic tasks, where it's, it's quite reputable up against many of these other models that we've seen, like Claude for Opus, O3, and it can be pretty good in many different categories. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter, as well as our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.